Hey everybody, welcome to Mr. Brian's Amazing World. Now, I ran a video here and just filmed this and we had a little glitch and it didn't record the beginning part of this video, so I can't exactly rototill the garden from the beginning again, so let me show you where we were and what you missed. Basically, this is an early 70s uh, Troy built horse model rototiller. And this thing is about a six horsepower Tecumseh. It has a cast iron, cylinder on it and that really makes a difference in how long these last you can buy parts and rebuild them very easily this particular model has the electric start just hit the button and it'll go uh, granted if you have a battery to it uh, you just hit the choke a little fuel and usually maybe it's because i had it running before let's give it a little gas that might help but usually she fires right up here. I don't get the deal here. Huh. Probably because I'm trying to film this. Anyway, regardless of that, she fires right up. She runs well. You could see she rode it the garden here. But overall, the controls on this thing. You have reverse, you actually have to push up. Forward, you push down, and that's it. Then you have slow is all the way down, and fast is up. And I mean, fast is not fast, you're still walking. Slow is the pace you want to do for rototilling through here. Works very well. The tines. Now, these puppies are always turning, no matter whether it's going forward or backwards. So you want to make sure you keep your feet away from this, because God forbid you get stuck in that. Overall, they're still holding together. We have very rocky soil here. I mean, if you look around, there's boulders right there. And that's what the soil was. And today, it's all super light, super fine, gorgeous stuff. All made with wood chips and all kinds of animal manure. Leaves, compost, worms, and all grinds up, makes amazing stuff. Now these particular models, I mean early 70s, there's the solid cast iron. If the engine does go, your best bet is to rebuild it as opposed to replacing it with the cheap junk on the market today. 100 bucks will put a new piston in it. And otherwise you could just bolt anything to it and run. It has a cast iron gearbox and it's pretty solid. Change of belt, it's ready to go. Nice feature of electric start. Don't really use it because I don't want to maintain a battery. And you just use this little lever here, and that adjusts your depth of how far down you want your tiller to go. I kind of leave it set all the way down and just adjust it myself as I'm going. Works very well for that. I hope you like this. Please like and subscribe. Mr. Brian's Amazing World, thank you very much. Have a great day. enjoy that. I mean, I'm sinking right into it. Now we'll do one more swath over here. I'd say we're good for a while. I'll mix some more stuff in and maybe grind it again and get a planting going.
survive just fine. The rest of the growing crop. So I think a little adjustment is popping up. But overall, what an awesome rig. Puffs a little smoke here and there, but come on. That 70s technology right there, that is amazing. Comes right along, still has a little bit of this nonsense from the mites over the winter. Pines down in there. This is great. It saved me so much work right now. 20 minutes of starting this up and showing you. And yeah, I'm a little hot and sweaty, and it's a beautiful spring day. Now I'm ready to go. But I hope you liked this. Please like and subscribe. Mr. Brian's Amazing World. Yeah, we'll let her cool down a little. She's, you know, look what she just did. She tore the ground all apart. Right, girl? What do you think? Was that cool? You had another video that you're in? Unbelievable. Please like and subscribe, Mr. Brian's Amazing World. Like I said, this is a Troy built horse model uh, rototiller. Unbelievable if you can find these older ones and look for the ones with the cast iron engine that tells you they're older. They have some really cool stuff, features, some have a bumper guard around them, but uh, they're hard to find. People collect them and people hang on to them and use them. And if you only have a small little garden, it's perfect. This is 10 inches deep. I didn't have to dig this and turn this. It's, it's amazing. It's wonderful. But uh, thanks a lot. Have a great day.